Welcome to this Student Worries and Concerns About Cambridge video. My name is Katriona and I'm the School Liaison Officer for Downing College. We put this video together to help anyone who's interested in studying at Cambridge in the future but who has worries or concerns. I've got with me three current undergraduate students who are going to talk to you about um, their concerns and how they turned out um, about Cambridge. And they're going to talk to you about this from the application stage all the way through to becoming a student. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves now. Hello there, uh, my name's Thomas. I'm a third year at Downing studying economics and I'm from Northern Ireland. Hi, my name's Lamorna. I'm a second year historian at Downing and I'm from Cornwall. Hi, I'm Raghavi. I'm a second year um, biological natural scientist at Downing and I'm from Singapore. Great. So my first question for you all is, what is your favourite thing about being a student at Downing and at Cambridge? So this is a hard question because and there's so many special things about Downing and about Cambridge in general. But the one thing that I always go to when people ask me about the college is how beautiful it is. Um, and every college in Cambridge has loads of history and old buildings and beautiful little places. But the thing about Downing is it's such an open space, which gives it this sort of atmosphere, which is really special, makes it stand out. Um, and Cambridge is a very busy, bustling city. But when you walk into Downing, it feels like you're in a country park out in the countryside and the city is a million miles away, which is really nice when you get home from a busy day, uh, just to kind of feel relaxed and feel at home in that in that different atmosphere. So my favourite thing about studying at Downing has to be the people. All the staff are so lovely, especially the porters who are always on hand to help. Um, and you really feel part of a college community. Um, I've met some of my best friends here. Um, so many interesting people with a complete variety of life experiences. Um, and I would say that my favourite thing about Cambridge more generally is the architecture and history of the city. Um, it never stops being slightly awe-inspiring, walking past King's Chapel um, and just thinking about all of the cool people who've studied here before and the things that they've gone on to do is quite special. I love Downing's location, especially because I'm doing biological natural sciences. It's near all the labs and the lecture halls. The people and the various opportunities to participate in things um, and there's a society for everyone. Academically, I also really enjoy the small group supervisions in Cambridge and Downing, where I'm able to share ideas and grasp concepts from academics of the particular field. Um, the kind of undivided attention from the subject specialists you get during supervisions is one of the things that I really appreciate in college as well. It's lovely to hear um, how you all enjoy um, being a student at Downing and at Cambridge. Um, did you always know you wanted to apply here? So for me, the answer to that was definitely no, um, I didn't. I always wanted to, to have a university experience and I always wanted to go somewhere that would have really good academic standards and would push me hard, but also somewhere that would be an enjoyable three years. Um, and it wasn't until probably when I did my GCSE and I got those results back and I kind of realized, oh, they're, they're good enough to actually apply to somewhere like Cambridge. And from there, it's sort of a journey of like realizing um, and building the confidence and belief in yourself that, yeah, actually you can go for that. You have the GCSEs and you have the standards to apply and then you, you just have to believe in yourself and go for it eventually. So, yeah. So I started seriously considering applying to Cambridge in about year 12. Um, the year above me were doing their UCAS applications and a couple of girls at my comprehensive school um, got Oxbridge offers in the January. And that made me feel like if people from a similar background to me who'd been at the same school could do it, um, then maybe I could too. But that didn't mean that I knew for sure that I was going to apply and I kind of changed my mind a lot that year. I was worried that it wouldn't suit me and that I wouldn't be able to cope with the academic pressure. Um, but in the end, the thing that, um, that convinced me was going to the Downing Open Day. Um, I immediately felt comfortable in Downing. Um, the, as Thomas has talked about, the grounds are so lovely. It feels really peaceful. Um, it's very green. Uh, so I think finding a college that you love is a very important part of the application process. 
I didn't really think about applying to Cambridge till year 12 um, when seniors from my high school who were already in Cambridge at the time came to do a sharing on the culture and the supervision system and their experiences in general. And I generally ask a lot of questions. So the supervision system really caught my eye. And as an international student, I also wanted to go overseas and live by myself and meet new people. And um, the support system in Cambridge looked ideal for someone who was going to be away from their country for more than three years. Great. Um, so most of you didn't seriously consider um, applying to Cambridge until year 12. What would you say was your biggest concern about coming to Cambridge in year 12? So for me, um, I think I didn't have an accurate idea of what Cambridge is really like um, because it is sort of exists in popular culture as a very, you know, posh place with lots of traditions. It's easy to think that everyone there is posh English people who wear tweed all the time. But actually, maybe that was true 100 or 200 years ago, but Cambridge and the colleges have really made efforts to make uh, the people in the university reflect society. So whenever I, whenever I got to Cambridge, it was a journey of realizing that actually there are people from all over the world, from different backgrounds and classes, with different interests, um, and there are people like me there. So it's, it's about realizing that some of those stereotypes that you see in the media and things um, aren't necessarily true. And it is a place where you'll find other people like you. Uh, yeah, so quite similarly, my biggest concern about Cambridge in year 12 uh, was that I wouldn't fit in um, coming from a comprehensive school in Cornwall. And I kind of had this idea again that all Cambridge students were really cultured and wealthy and posh. And um, I did feel a little bit overwhelmed the first time I visited Cambridge just because it is such a beautiful city, which is obviously a really nice thing about it. Um, but it definitely feels very affluent. Um, but having actually studied here now for a year, I've realised that there definitely is no such thing as a kind of typical Cambridge student. Um, and you can find all kinds of people. Um, so you can't generalise in any way. Um, I have met a small handful of people from wealthy backgrounds from top um, public schools, but I've also met way more people from uh, state schools and from low income backgrounds. Um, and yeah, whoever you are, wherever you come from and whatever you're interested in, there are going to be people that you meet, that you get on with them who are like you. Um, initially, I was hesitant to apply to Cambridge because I wasn't sure if I was even smart enough to be in Cambridge. Then um, I was mainly worried about the cultural shock since I'm from Singapore. I was worried about not being able to find a community and fitting in. Um, but honestly, I did struggle initially to get used to the lingo and the unfamiliar weather amongst many things. But eventually I managed to um, find societies, friends and people who appreciated my quirks and just willing to learn. Great, so it's fair to say that in the end, um, all of your biggest concerns um, turned out okay. Um, what would you say about the application process? This is an area of concern uh, for a lot of students. Uh, Thomas, how did you find the application process and specifically at writing your personal statement? Yeah, so um, after I decided I wanted to apply to Cambridge, I pretty quickly realized that the personal statement would be um, an important part to securing an interview. And it, it is something that's competitive and you want it to be something where you can kind of stand out and show that you really have an interest in the subject you're doing. And one thing that really helped me with that process was finding a teacher in school who was willing to take a little bit of extra time and actually believe in me um, and help me through that process of writing a statement. So it was all about um, going over it time and time again, making small corrections and making sure that there are no sentences in it that don't need to be there because there's a word limit. And that process can be kind of frustrating and tiring because my teacher was constantly telling me to change things. But at the end of it, um, I found I had a statement that I was really happy with. And so my piece of advice too would be, if you're worried about the personal statement or any step of the application process, um, find a teacher in school who's willing to take the time. Maybe they might not even be um, for the specific subject that you want to apply for, but they're there and they, they've got experience where they'll be able to help you. And if you're both not sure, then a brilliant place to look is online on the Cambridge uh, website and on the Downing website, where there are loads of resources for 
how to um, write personal statements right through to how to do an interview. And um, so that's a really good place to start if you're not too sure. Yes, there's loads of resources online on the college website and the university website. So please do check those out. Um, I think most students would say that they're um, most nervous about the interview process. Um, Raghavi, how did you find your interview? Um, so initially I was super nervous and I wasn't sure if I'll be able to answer even a single question. But I soon realized that the content needed to answer the questions are generally ones where you need to apply your existing knowledge to new situations. Um, it was really thought provoking and the interviewers just wanted to understand the way I think and see if I'm able to grasp new concepts to learn from them effectively. Um, I also asked a lot of questions during the interview to um, learn from them. Uh, it was basically like a supervision in Cambridge. Like though it was really stressful, it was quite a pleasant experience and my interviewer tried his best to make me feel relaxed and encouraged me to answer his questions. Um, I believe that their aim isn't to trip you up. So uh, my piece of advice would be to go in with an open mind, willing to ask questions and take this whole interview as like a mini lesson rather than someone trying to assess your academic prowess. Um, reading up on your subject would definitely help with the interview and make you more confident. Um, but do realize that it is okay to not immediately know the answer and it is okay to ask questions and process your thoughts out loud. Great, thank you. So all of you were successful in your applications and have become students and you had to move away from home for the first time. Um, how did each of you find that? So yeah, it definitely can be um, a daunting thing moving away from home, but I felt that um, among the nerves, I definitely felt very excited about moving away um, and kind of becoming independent and meeting new people. And when you get to Downing, you realize there's like a hundred other people who feel the same and they're all very excited um, and wanting to get to know new people. Um, and the, the people at Downing, everyone from the porters and the staff to the older students do their best during the whole experience to make you feel welcome. And it definitely is a unique thing about Darning um, that the second and third years and the older students really go out of their way to get to know you so that it feels more like one big group of students rather than three isolated year groups. And I find that um, in all of my time at Darning that um, people get to know each other no matter what year you're in. And that's just something that's really special. So I found moving away from home a lot easier than I thought it would be. When I initially got my offer in year 13, I was a little bit concerned about the distance from Cambridge to home. Um, it's about seven hours drive. Um, and I was kind of worried I wouldn't be able to come home for weekends and things like that. Um, but in the end, I never wanted to and I never did um, because you're generally so busy. Um, there's so much going on academically and socially. Um, and I was just really happy where I was. Uh, I think another thing to say is that moving away from home might seem daunting when you are in January of year 13 when you've just got your offer um, but between then and October when you actually move uh, you're going to have so many experiences, you're going to take your A-levels um, so you will be more confident and you will be better equipped for the move by then. Um, so as for me, my home is literally like 13,000 km away. Um, I was really stressed about getting homesick and not being able to fit in or make any friends. Uh, I was also worried about forgetting essential things because I can't just pop back home to get something that I forgot. But it was also about like stepping out of my country and experiencing something new and making new friends that was really exciting. Um, I had a support from the Singapore Society in Cambridge and also the international reps from Downing College in answering most of my questions and making me feel more at home. Um, it was really scary, but exciting at the same time, but definitely worth it. Yeah, there's a uh, daunting and a scary time um, for anybody moving away from home. Um, Lamorna, could you tell us more about how you found settling into college and making new friends? I think the collegiate system at Cambridge really facilitates making friends and settling in. Uh, in my year at Downing, there are about 130 students. Um, so you get to know the other people in your year quite well. And as Thomas said, um, the years above you. And in our freshers week, we had quite a lot of 
college-based activities. We had um, things going on on the paddock. Uh, we had a silent disco. Um, and Cambridge also has a system um, called the college family system. So you'll have two college parents in the year above you, one of whom will do your subject. And then you'll have one or two college siblings in your year. And during Freshers Week, you will have a day that you spend with your college family. Um, so generally your college parents will take you punting um, and you'll just spend the evening with them, uh, which is a nice way of uh, getting to settle in. And they can also provide support sort of throughout your first year. Um, so at Cambridge, we talk about something called Week 5 Blues, uh, which is when people are traditionally supposed to get a little bit homesick. So my college parents left chocolate in my pigeonhole, uh, which was really nice of them. And aside from college based things, you can also meet like minded people through societies or through your course. Um, so I think Cambridge is a very good place for making friends. Yes, definitely. The college system um, really helps people to settle in and also there's lots of support academically and pastorally within the college. Um, another concern then uh, for people is the kind of academic pressure and the workload. Thomas, how have you found um, this at university in comparison to school? Yeah, so it definitely is a whole, a whole different thing because when you sign up to come to Cambridge, you are signing up to get a top class education. So it is going to be different and it is going to be challenging. Um, and the two main areas where I find that are that obviously um, there is just a lot of work um, and sometimes that can be a little bit overwhelming. And as well as that, um, it's more self-led and sort of not self-taught, but there's a lot more kind of independent study and rather than in school where you have your teacher telling you every single deadline that you need to follow and every step of the process. Um, at Cambridge, you kind of have to take that yourself. You have to kind of learn how to use to-do lists and maybe make study diaries and things to ensure that you're on top of what you're doing. But while those two things are challenging, um, there definitely are the support networks there to get you through. And everyone is in the same boat. All the first years do struggle with that. But it's about kind of talking to course mates talking to other people in your year about how they're coping with it, making sure you take breaks. And as well as that, the supervision, um, the supervisions are there to help you um, when you do have individual questions. Or even sometimes I'll just say to my supervisors, I'm actually finding this topic really hard. It's been a struggle. And they kind of, rather than being like, oh, that's really bad, they'll just say, that's okay. Like, just relax. Like, you can look over it when it gets to the end of term. Like, I'll walk you through the main points of it. That's okay. So there definitely will be times where you might find it a little overwhelming, but it's about learning how to deal with those moments um, in kind of healthy ways. And if you do that, you'll learn loads and you'll have a good time. So, yeah. Yeah, there definitely is a lot of work and the short terms um, do make it more intense, which is why it's really important um, to find a good work-life balance. Raghavi, how have you managed to achieve this? Um, yeah, so I do natural sciences and natural sciences has one of the highest um, contact hours in the first year. And as an international student, amongst fitting in and finding societies to join, having a heavy workload was really quite stressful. But things did fall into place um, as I started getting used to the workload. University is all about the freedom of choice. So I had to manage my priorities and set aside time for both work and play and stick to it. Um, but everyone around me were going through the same thing as me. So talking to them and going through this entire process with them was really helpful. But essentially, the work-life balance came with time as I got used to this entire like Cambridge vibe. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, another concern that we haven't spoken about yet is um, people are often worried about the cost of studying at Cambridge. Um, Lamorna, have you found um, Cambridge an expensive place to study and what financial support is available for students? I would say that the cost of living in Cambridge is slightly higher for me than it is at home, um, but not dramatically so. And you can definitely manage to live here on a budget. Um, people do that by sort of cooking for themselves mostly or uh, some people cycle to Aldi uh, to do a cheaper weekly food shop um, and there's no obligation to attend things like formals or nobles. One thing that I find helpful is I have a bursary from the university 
um, and anyone from a low income background is eligible for that and it's up to £3,500 a year. Um, you're automatically assessed for it when you do your student finance application and it's a gift so you'll never have to pay it back. Uh, if you want to know more about that you can find more information on the Cambridge website and each college has its own bursaries and scholarships so um, they come under categories like they have hardship funds if you're struggling financially um, and they also help with buying textbooks, the cost of travel, um, sports, things like that. Um, but the main message is that no one should be put off applying from Cambridge because of the cost, um, because there are systems in place to help with that. Yes, definitely do look at the Cambridge Bursary, Student Finance and the college websites to find out more about um, finance. So my final question for the three of you is, what advice would you give uh, to someone who's considering applying to Cambridge and to Downing? I would just say, um, even if you've never really properly considered it before, um, if you are, then definitely go for it because it's an incredible experience to be able to study at a college and a university that has so much history as well as having such good academic standards. Um, so make sure you watch videos like this, go online and make use of the resources that are out there because they'll really help you along the way and you've got what it takes to be able to apply, so just go for it. I would say that even if you're not entirely sure whether you want to come to Cambridge, if you are considering it, you should still apply. Um, mainly because you can learn a lot from the application process. Um, you can understand more about what Cambridge is like. As Raghavi mentioned, the interviews are a bit like mock supervisions. Um, it's not just for the interviewers to figure out whether they think you should study here, it's for you to figure out whether you'd be happy here. Um, and also you will change a lot between the start of year 13 when you apply um, and the following year when you would start at Cambridge. Um, and you'll have had a lot of life experience in between um, and you might think quite differently about it. Um, I'd say don't be afraid of the unknown and just try and apply even if you don't think you're smart enough because most times you're just underestimating yourself. Also, um, don't try and prepare too much in advance because things will fall in place eventually and you'll definitely get into the groove and get used to the community that you can vibe with. And don't worry because there's always people who are willing to help as long as you're willing to ask. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much to Thomas, Lamorna and Raghavi uh, for sharing um, your experiences and your advice. And we really hope you found that this video useful. If you've got any questions after watching this video, please do get in touch with us at the college and good luck with your applications.